It's Metacosis Perfect Schnellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. We are starting a new series known as Signs in Medicine. But first, what's the difference between symptom and sign? Symptom has a Y in it. You, the patient, will tell me what's going on. That's a symptom. But sign, I, as a doctor, will figure it out. Using that definition, pain is a symptom. Tenderness is a sign. Patient complaining of, doctor, I think I'm warm or hot or something. That's a symptom. You sticking the thermometer into the patient's orifice and reading a temperature from a freaking thermometer is a sign. Patient saying, doctor, I feel my heart is racing. I have racing heartbeats. That's a symptom. The sign is you actually measure the heartbeat. That's a tachycardia or tachycardia with arrhythmia. So abnormal rate, abnormal rhythm. These are signs. Today we'll start with home and sign. You may find this positive in cases of deep venous thrombosis or DVT. I have a video about DVT in my playlist called Pulmonology. Let's start with the basics. This dude right here, Rudolf Furco, described the famous Furco's triad. We have a triad, endothelial damage, blood stasis, and hypercoagulability. These three factors increase your risk of thrombosis and clots. Look at this beard action right here. Venous thrombosis, what's the definition? A uh, thrombosis in a vein? No kidding, you don't say. A thrombus that is formed in a vein, yeah. Structure, this is a thrombus and not a clot. A thrombus is in vivo, inside a living human body, attached to blood vessel wall and has lines of zan. Lines of zan are the fibrin fibers, fresh. Clot, in vitro, or a dead body. Not attached to blood vessel, no lines of zan. So a forensic pathologist will never see a thrombus. He or she will only see clots because the body is dead. So if you watch television and there is a courtroom and the forensic pathologist is a witness, uh, uh, like, Your Honor, I saw a thrombus. Shut up, that's a paid actor. That's not a freaking forensic pathologist. I mean, kiss my necrotic tissue. DVT, here is the classic case. 46-year-old, G5, P5, Gravita 5, Para 5. Female who is on oral contraceptives. With medical history of breast cancer and ovarian cancer that she is being treated for currently. She has also had a major surgery five days ago and just arrived from a long flight from Sydney to New York. That's a long flight. Presents with right calf that's swollen and it's more than three centimeters in circumference when measured 10 centimeters inferior to the tibial tuberosity. Her right calf is warm, red, tender, with pitting ankle edema on the right side as well. You also notice some collateral non-varicose superficial veins. When you try to dorsiflex the right foot, she felt substantial pain. It doesn't have to be pain. It could be discomfort. It could be flexure. It could be resistance. Anything. On compressing the right calf, she felt pain as well. The left lower extremity was absolutely normal. Diagnosis, probably gonna be DVT deep vein thrombosis. What's the name of that sign? In red letters, that's the Hohmann sign, which is today's topic. So here is how you perform Hohmann sign. You hold the patient's ankle, okay? Make sure the patient is relaxed and not tense. So try to just turn the ankle around to the right and left, like little circumduction might help, just to make put the patient at ease. Just relax and then suddenly you dorsiflex like this. Dorsiflexion is this action right here, as you know. And plantar flexion is the opposite, this way. If you did not know the distinction, there is no hope for you. I take it back, there is always hope. There is just not a chance. Normally, what should happen when you dorsiflex? Absolutely nothing. But if this patient has DVT, you might have a positive Hohmann sign. What's positive Hohmann sign? On dorsiflexion of the ankle, the patient described or experienced pain. Doesn't have to be pain, could be just discomfort or flexure or resistance. Okay, medicosis, if the patient experiences pain, where the pain is going to be located? It could be behind the knee, it could be in the calf. I got it, medicosis, this is home and sign. Let me ask you a question, medicosis. If I was able to get a positive home and sign, does that mean that there is no need for the ultrasound? Shut up. Of course you'll need an ultrasound, preferably duplex. Duplex has the word double in it. Double what? I need to see the structure, I need to see the flow. And you order your D-dimer. 
And don't forget that there, if there is DVT, probably there could be pulmonary embolism as well. Keep that in mind. That's a common preventable cause of death in the hospital. So we as doctors need to get our head out of our collective sphincter. It's time. Other tips and tricks to help you diagnose DVT are a group of criteria known as Wells criteria. And if you look at this diagram right here or this illustration, you'll actually discover all of the Wells criteria. But if you don't understand the picture, please watch my previous video on DVT. So that's it about the Hohmann sign. Wait, wait, hold your horses. Hohmann sign can be positive in DVT, but it's always negative in a ruptured Baker cyst or popliteal cyst. And this is a huge distinction. DVT is a flipping emergency ruptured Baker cyst. Who cares? Homan sign might help you. Keep in mind, Homan sign is not that sensitive or specific. Moreover, most doctors are doofuses and they do not know how to perform a physical exam. So you get a test that's not that accurate with a doofus doctor who doesn't know what the flip he's doing and the accuracy of the test just drop like a rock. Let me know in the comment section which sign would you like to see next. Until then, you can get my antibiotics course and download it today. Just go to medicosisperfectionalis.com. This course has 40 videos plus 70 questions, 35 cases, and my Perfectionalis Ultimate Notebook plus a mind map. You will learn about antibacterials, antifungals, antivirals, and antiparasitic drugs. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my premium courses today. Be safe, stay happy, and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.